Hello, future pharmacists. Today, we embark on a quest to sharpen our problem-solving skills for the pharmacy oral exam. I've curated a set of diverse scenarios that will test your critical thinking and application of knowledge for Part C of the exam. If you haven't already watched our video on everything you need to know about the pharmacy oral exam we recommend watching that first by clicking on the link in the description below. Now let's begin this exciting journey. Scenario 1, a patient with diabetes is experiencing frequent hypoglycemic episodes despite regular insulin administration. They come to your pharmacy seeking advice. What steps can be taken to identify and resolve this issue? Let's break this down together, step by step, to unravel the underlying factors and find a solution. Firstly, we must consider the potential causes of recurrent hypoglycemia in a patient with diabetes. It could be due to excessive insulin doses, timing issues, medication interactions, or lifestyle factors. Next, we need to analyze the patient's insulin regimen, including the type of insulin, dosing schedule, and administration technique. We should also review their medication list for any drugs that may potentiate hypoglycemia. In this scenario, let's say the patient is on multiple medications, including a sulfonylurea agent known for its hypoglycemic effects. We recommend pausing the video here and writing down what you would do next. Excellent work! In your answer you should have discussed assessing the overall medication regimen, potentially adjust the insulin dose, and even consider switching the sulfonylurea to an alternative medication, such as a DPP-4 inhibitor. Each patient is different and so their care should be individualized. Now, let's move on to our next challenging scenario. Scenario 2, a patient presents with a complicated medication regimen involving multiple chronic conditions. They tell you they feel overwhelmed with all the medications they are on. How can we optimize their medication management for better adherence and outcomes? We recommend pausing the video here and writing down your answer. Okay now let's get into it. In the oral exam part C you will be given a prescription and may also be given a patient dispensing history. Firstly, we need to conduct a comprehensive medication review. This involves carefully assessing all medications the patient is currently taking, including prescription drugs, over-the-counter products, and supplements. We must identify any duplications, drug interactions, or inappropriate medications. We should also consider deprescribing any drugs no longer required and offer non-pharmacological advice. To improve adherence, patient education plays a pivotal role. We must provide clear and concise instructions on each medication, emphasizing the importance of adherence, potential side effects, and expected benefits. Visual aids, written instructions, and easy-to-understand language can facilitate comprehension and reinforce the message. Additionally, incorporating reminder systems can be beneficial. This can range from simple methods like pillboxes or medication calendars to more advanced technologies such as smartphone apps with medication reminders and refill alerts. By using these tools, patients are more likely to stay organized and adhere to their medication schedule. Some other things to consider are that regular follow-up and monitoring are essential components of optimizing medication management. Collaboration and coordination among healthcare providers are vital in complex medication management. And patient empowerment is crucial. Encouraging patients to actively participate in their medication management and decision-making process can significantly improve adherence. In the exam don't forget to tailor your answer to the specific patient. Scenario 3, a pregnant patient is diagnosed with a respiratory infection. Their doctor wants to know which antibiotics would be safe and effective for treating the infection without harming the fetus? Again we recommend pausing the video here and writing down your answer first. In Part C of the Pharmacy Oral Exam this is the type of question that could be asked by the doctor and you would be expected to answer this question in role play. But don't worry, you can check your resources such as your AMH if needed. When selecting antibiotics for pregnant patients, we must consider their safety profiles, potential risks to the fetus, and the specific infection being treated. Resources I would use include the Australian Medications Handbook and Mother Safe. These resources provide information on the safe use of medications during pregnancy. Remember information between resources may differ so don't forget to check multiple resources. It's also crucial to emphasize that antibiotic selection should be based on the specific infection, its severity, and the patient's individual circumstances. 
the dosage and duration of treatment should be determined carefully taking into account the patient's gestational age and any additional medical considerations. Ultimately, the goal is to choose an antibiotic that effectively treats the respiratory infection while minimizing any potential risks to the fetus. That concludes our practice scenarios for today. Remember, honing your problem-solving skills is vital for excelling in pharmacy exams. By dissecting scenarios, considering options, and applying your knowledge, you'll be well prepared to ace any challenge. Good luck and let us know in the comments below what type of video you'd like to see next.